Back in the year 1865, most of the basic means of livelihood of the forest-dwelling tribes were banned by the British. Let's see what happened. The forest tribes were largely dependent on the forest for their livelihoods. Villagers thought a good forest was one that provided them with their daily needs, such as fuel, fodder and leaves. However, the British thought differently. They felt a good forest was one that provided timber for building ships and railways. Teak and sal were the most popular trees. For this purpose, the British passed the Indian Forest Act, which completely devastated the lives of villagers. The daily practices of villagers, such as cutting wood, grazing cattle, collecting fruits and roots, and fishing, were banned and made illegal. Forest-dwelling tribes largely depended on hunting small animals like deer, rabbit and partridge for food. The British also imposed a ban on the hunting of small animals. However, they encouraged the sport of hunting of wild and dangerous animals like the elephant, lion and tiger by giving rewards. In fact, if anyone was caught hunting illegally, they were severely punished for poaching. Even shifting cultivation, which had been practiced for several generations by the forest tribes, was banned. Shifting or Sweden cultivation was an agricultural system in which plots of land were cultivated temporarily and then abandoned. The forest tribes depended on this a great deal. Shifting cultivation had a few disadvantages for the British, and so it was banned. The land became useless for growing timber, led to forest fires, and also resulted in soil erosion. Furthermore, it was difficult for the British to calculate taxes. The Indian Forest Act snatched away the means of livelihood of many of the nomadic and pastoral tribes. They were left with only two options, either give in and change their occupation, or take the stronger path and rebel. Some of them changed their occupation and were forced to work in tea and coffee plantations, mines and factories at low wages, bad working conditions and under strict government supervision. A few others stood up against the tyranny of the British, which led to many rebellions in the forests of India. While the Indian Forest Act was passed as a boon to the British, it proved to be a bane for the forest dwellers.